Hey, what's up? I'm A Dove from DX Daily Podcast, and you gotta check this out. So, Tom Hardy's love of hip hop is no secret, so it's no wonder his Venom voice is inspired by some of the genre's greatest MCs. Following Venom, Let There Be Carnage, hitting theaters earlier this month, the British actor told BBC Radio 1 the recipe behind the Marvel character's voice, drawing inspiration from the likes of Busta Rhymes, Method Man, and Red Man. Busta Rhymes, mm -hmm. a little bit of Method and Red Man, a little bit of James Brown. Yep and ever so slightly an element of Richard Burton. This one feels a bit more British. I've been told off for that, yeah. It's not a tell-off from me. Well, I've been told off for that. I love it. Well, thank you. For I'll me. I'll correct it still. Yeah. <laughs> because I don't, sadly I work. He also admitted he sometimes mixes up Venom's voice with Bane from 2012's The Dark Knight Rises. During a 2018 interview, Tom Hardy said the dual roles of Eddie Brock and Venom reminded him of actor-director Woody Allen, UFC star Conor McGregor, and Redman. Before becoming a star in the acting world, Tom Hardy used to rap under the name Tommy No. 1. Alongside writer and director Ed Tracy, he recorded an album titled Falling on Your Arse in 1999. In an old YouTube video, Hardy can also be seen beatboxing and rapping lyrics from KRS-One's 1994 track, Hip Hop vs. Rap, with his son strapped to his chest. Check this out, yo. Check this out, right? Dude, can't, 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 can't give me the mic, the mic, they don't really need me. Socrates, the book of pages, I flip, I flip the Mike, in the back of the back of the day, it was this hectic, hectic when those brothers don't respect it. Ha ha ha, I know the lot is stolen property, I'm kicking the flavor to society, police be clocking me. But logically, they got to be, because they were told the serious poetry would come from Socrates, but that ain't it. And now the four, I'm the punky about you take my microphone top of shit, I'm not having it. Buzzing the mic, I get publicity, rap is something you do, hip hop is something you live. The difference is, the difference is, the difference is, the difference is, nowadays kids have got the videos, and rappers don't need skills to pay the bills, so they don't hear me though. Really though, I'm for times on the city on I got 10 videos but that's a help me float no that's why when MCs come to my show they act like they don't know because they was too young to rock up in my disco the frisco disco the joint is like an abisco chocolate chip cookie better with me rookie inside I'm beats in the states that I'm keeping them down but police know it's tricky when I'm treated <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Aside from 90s hip hop, Tom Hardy also appears to be a fan of the current rap generation. In a January 2016 interview with Leonardo DiCaprio, he revealed there was a Bobby Shmurda lyric in the Oscar winning film The Revenant, but it didn't make the final cut. The line was Shut Your Trap House, which references the Broken Rapper's hit single. Come to think of it, that burial sequence was <laughs> your, your extra little fun. I remember like extra dirt on his face. Man. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was wondering about that. Said, How much extra did you throw? As well, <laughs> which never made the cut. The Bobby Schmurder line. Uh, shut your, shut trap, your trap house. Yeah. So I think that's pretty dope that Venom's voice was inspired by some hip hop legends. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And be sure to subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast on all streaming platforms. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to popdx.com.